<laughs> An all too familiar scene for parents who lived through the COVID pandemic. Okay, зрозуміло. Ну, ще трішки Children fidgeting through a Zoom class about the solar system. The difference here, most of these Ukrainian school kids are refugees, reconnecting with their classmates and teacher online. In the last two weeks, the students and their teacher fled to different countries to escape Russia's invasion of Ukraine. How old are your students? Mm, seven, eight. From Poland, Nadia Pavlenka teaches her students online classes, even though the school stopped paying her salary. None of us know what will happen next, she says, but these classes with my children are like a bridge to my past life in Ukraine. They help us feel connected. Wartime distance learning. There's a lot of this going on right now. Do you think the online classes are helping these kids? Very much. It's helping them and mental health to feel the routine that the, uh, the life is still going on. That it's not, it's not the end of the world. Alexander Parkalab is a school teacher who fled the Ukrainian city of Odessa to neighboring Moldova. In the morning, he teaches students from his Ukrainian school online. Children ask me if I'm safe, where I am, with who I am. They were asking me before me asking them. In the afternoon, he comes here, a makeshift school for Ukrainian children in the Moldovan capital. Parents asked me to make a place to feel very safety and maybe mm -hmm. just emotionally for two, three hours or more. Just to escape. Feel, yeah, yeah, to escape all this. Half of his online students fled across borders. The other half are still in Ukraine. The first lesson in Zoom, I said that you should to be the, this first domino to help somebody. Maybe your mother need help, maybe uh, mother's friends need help. And this is what can I do. I cannot change the world, but I can change me and change like the mood of my mother and it will be like a domino. These girls say they're looking forward to starting online classes with their Ukrainian classmates on Monday. Lena says she wants to find out where her classmates traveled to and to make sure that they're healthy right now. Eight-year-old Timur Zdanov and his father Artem stayed behind in Ukraine. Were you surprised when Timur's teacher said, hey, we're going to continue online learning? Honestly, yeah. I think that they're feeling this strong uh, connection with Ukraine and then want to support us as much as, as they can and also a new generation uh, of Ukrainian people. A new generation that may grow up in exile, relying on technology to stay connected to their homeland. Oh, your heart just I, yeah, breaks. I so mean, many takeaways from that. Um, you see that a lot. You know, I've even seen that here locally after yeah. a major tragedy. You know, the one thing that they try to do is keep routine for mm -hmm. those kids because it's it's just it's something familiar and yeah. that becomes security for them. And what these kids have already endured at such a young age, yeah. I mean, even a Zoom class is just going to be maybe just a moment to think right. about something else like the solar system right. or you, what they were supposed to learn as a seven-year-old. And it's like you and I were saying, you know, they do it for these kids, but I bet they get a lot of benefit yeah. out of that routine as yes. well and seeing these kids' faces. And you saw them, those kids, like yeah. even in the midst of this, they looked, they, they still had smiles. They were able to, that that's the resiliency that kids provide and, and the hope kids that they can amazing. give us. But I also like the fact that it's not just the classroom lessons, right? I mean, it was the lesson of being kind. In the midst of war, this teacher said, I just want you to be that domino. I want you to pass that kindness on to somebody else. And that's going to be that lesson they take away from all it's of this. It's such a pivotal moment, right, yeah. where you decide how you view what, what's happening yeah. to your, your country and your family. And to have somebody there to teach you that lesson yeah. is, is going to be, is going to have an amazing uh, impact. Right, 100%.